welcome great people of Biafra. Ikenga Urago has come out to say that he knows where Commander Gento is and um, he went online to expose that Commander Gento is hiding with his girlfriend and other people and the preparations the Biafra Liberation Army is making towards you know um, delivering the people of Biafra. Now we are going to look into that video he made and we are going to analyze it and explain certain things to our viewers the second thing is that there are people who always come online to say that Mazi Simon Eba, why is he um you know pushing the people of Biafra into war why is he into armed struggle why is he doing that that he should um leave the military alone and um he should fight in a peaceful way to ensure that um, Biafra is gotten through peaceful means and then these are the two things I want to tackle today. I want to tackle these two things today. First, we are going to start with why is Simon Epa, you know, procuring arms and ammunition to ensure that the people of Biafra defend themselves? Why is it so? Now, I want to tell you that the people who are supposed to represent you who are the political leaders and the political appointees, political representatives that are supposed to represent you and speak your minds, don't even have one-on-one -on -one communication with you, don't even have a rapport with the community. So how do they know what you feel? How do they know what you want? Even when you try to come out through protests to tell them this is what you want, this is what you want, what do they do? They send armed men, they send military men to restrain you, to stop you from telling them what they should, you know, um, do for you. They send military men to stop you from telling them that you are not happy with the way they are going about um, representing you. So what do you do in that situation? You try to ensure that your message is passed across and they begin to buy you. They send their military to begin to buy you. Now, how do you defend yourself against people who are using guns to buy you? Tell me, are you going to use sticks? Are you going to use machete? How, what are you going to use to fight people who are using guns against you? How do you defend yourself at least defend yourself and it has gotten to a situation where they now disguise and they now come to kidnap they now come to buy you in your house they now come to clear your community and take over how do you defend yourself against these people Masinam the Khan over the years have spoken, spoken. There was a time he had a meeting with the Eastern governors and he told them, please, this is what we want. Restructure this country, bring back certain things, do these things for the people so that the people will have a way of life, of, of uh, uh, people who have a source of living, a good source of living. Bring um, um, seaports to the to the uh, uh, southeast region south south region biafra region bring a walking seaport bring an international airport bring the presence of the international body in the um um, um biafra region all to no avail i want you all to understand that in the government of nigeria there is something called the exclusive list and in that exclusive list are things that no government is allowed no state government is allowed to touch or do it is only with the authority and the permission of the federal government that you can do that thing. And so, creation of seaport is part of those things. International airport is part of those things. It is only the federal government that can give you that power. Now, security. How do you secure your land? You cannot because it is within the purview of the federal government to do that. It is within the purview of the uh, 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 inspector general of police to do and so a state governor cannot come and say police i want you to go to this so and so place they are they are buying my people i need you to go no they will tell you let us receive order from the inspector general of police who is in abuja so every state is controlled by the igp who is in abuja how do you safeguard your people now the political leaders have become the onochiruzo of the people they 
have become the blockade of the people they have become a tool being used by the enemies of the biafran people to perpetuate evil against the people of biafra how do you save your people from this situation if you want to come out to protest peacefully they use the military they use the police against you and if you don't mind what you do they begin to buy you cases upon cases upon cases look at open the barracks look at uh, that one in uh, anambra uh, i've forgotten the name again in anambra they continue to kidnap they continue to enforce the disappearance of innocent Biafrans. what do you do to secure yourself let me give you another example look at kenya the kenyan youth came out to protest they came out with only sticks what happened to them what is happening in kenya today they have started using force against the citizens they have started using guns against the citizens and you have seen that their protest is dying down gradually now i want to give you another classical example that would show you the difference that will show you the clear difference did you see how the people of haiti protested what did you notice all their demands were met all their demands were met what did the people of haiti protest with they protested with their guns all of them came out in the street with their guns and when you are a military person and they send you the politicians send you go and you know stop these people and you know that almost all of them are well armed if you go there and you know if you want to shoot they they, they tell you that you, you don't even know how to handle the gun what do you do in that situation you run back and tell the politician you better fix what they are requesting for else we will not go there and buy ourselves because they know that everybody on the street is with a weapon so how do you go there you know once you go there you are at risk if you enter they come from any angle you know take you down that is what you need to understand that is the difference when they come with a particular measure make sure you have something at equal par at par with that measure or even greater than that measure before you can defeat them if they come with military men ensure that you have people with machine guns that can overdo um, subdue them else they are going to continue to rule over you and their impute or their decisions will remain law if you need to change something you must have the same power they have to change those things and that is why millions of Biafrans support the prime minister and the move to ensure that the people are well armed to defend themselves to fight back what are you seeing now you are seeing a situation where the military is coming out to beg to cry to the international community to say that these people are buying them on a daily basis that is because they have seen that there is a force against them remember in 2015 2017 2018 where there was no force against them what was happening did you see any chief of army staff or chief of defense staff or IGB coming out to say that they need international help that they need the government to begin to speak to certain government to make sure that this thing stops no because they know they are above you they know they have what to control you with and in a situation where you have something to control them they will begin to beg it becomes a a, a, a battle no longer you know a slave versus master something it becomes a battle between two people and then they will now begin to need help that is something that people need to understand secondly let us listen to <laughs> iruagu but before we listen to iruagu i have a video i want you to watch of what the people are the, the, you know debating in the national assembly just listen to this and i represent the artisanal people of Abba North and Abba South in this incorruptible assembly mr speaker i would like to speak very briefly about some of the contents of this Samoa agreement. Mr. Speaker, this agreement has certain clauses that happens to be in variance with our way of life. We are Africans, we are not Westerners. We have our laws, we have our way of life, we have our way of doing things. 
And as far as I'm concerned, this issue of human rights, which Nigeria does not in any way violate, should not be implicitly enshrined into this agreement and members representing the people. This is the people's house. This is the people's parliament. We stand here in my own right. I represent over one point something million people from Abba. And I have been told that this particular human rights clause happens to be reprehensible, abominable, and we do not intend to stand for yeah, it. Wait, do I wait. speak the minds of my people here? Yes. Yes. So, Mr. Speaker, we cannot continue to do things that do not align or that is... Can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead, sir. We cannot continue to engage, engage in contrived way of governance, cosmetic way of running government. Let us focus on the issue, issues that matter. Our people are hungry. Yes. Our people are starving. Yes. People cannot buy food. Yes. There is insecurity. Yes. There is no light in the country. Yes. Industries are not growing. Yes. Let us tell ourselves the truth. Yes. Why are we here talking about uh, LGBT, GTBT, whatever? <laughs> Let us concentrate on the issues that matter. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Yeah. Speaker, our people are not interested in this. So let us step it down. Let us close it. Let let us forget everything about it. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. No, this is to tell you what these people are interested in. A whole House of Assembly, what they are doing is to be talking about LGBT, LGBT, abyss, what? Instead of these issues, the pressing issues that are disturbing, are ravaging the country, they are discussing nonsense. And that is why you see that there could be little or no you know, visible progress, infinitesimal progress. You can't even see the progress that this government have made. Is that what you want to continue in? No. It is not possible. Our people are not that kind of people who would subject themselves into a kind of community where there is no progress, where there is no breakthrough, where there is absolutely no direction. And that is why we are telling you that if you continue to listen to these people in power, you will continue to remain in abject poverty and no progress. Because these people are not interested in anything that will make you progress, are not interested in anything that will make you go to another level. You know, they are not interested in your welfare. Now, let us listen to Ikenga Urago and the nonsense he has to spill. Listen. Now, in your updates. Ebe gentle na wari, gentle. Amu ge na tom. Ebe le di na ebe. Mwa gali, ewe ro ifo ge wa tarale. The only thing currently, ino man ko yo mwa ino mwa wa. Ane si ne butele di ne di under uncompleted building. Ino ne si ne di ne wa na di. Deba no mwa ri fenebe. I'm on your way, and I may follow you. But where if I'm a child, name man da. So if I'm a gazog, I'm gonna eat that. Rap wa jomume, because na jomume drama. Oga tomo biuto ni si gida. If I'm a tomo to, I'm gonna eat that. Jila ka ukwo name man mesu. Makano onya nobu ka babu. Ana chome gua onyo mwa. No mwa wa. Ucha idea, I ne nedi, in a sine bujala, if and you any specific, Bukono Mala Nani follow, and I thank people Ndo be kana putana with information. Or if I need, because the job of security abolo only for the police and the army. You have to help them. Or it's a collective effort. It's something that we have to come together to make it happen. Without togetherness, there is no way we can defeat all these criminals. Now, let us um, stop it there. Let us just stop it there because um, this is what we have been telling our people. This guy went on, you know, he made a broadcast in Igbo language, but what he was saying is that um, he, uh, Commander Gento is in Umuawa, a particular community called Umuawa. 
and he says that the girlfriend to commander gento is feeding him and is enjoying and is marrying and all of that he even went for that to say that they are planning to recruit or regroup in another community and all of that but i don't want to go into playing all those things that he said w what i want you to understand is that we told you i told you that the way this guy is going he will become the next ijele and that is what he is doing now providing information to the military but he forgets that <laughs> the military are even afraid to cross where these guys are now what is he doing he is trying to source information of where our commanders are and one thing they usually do is to use ladies the few ladies can penetrate anywhere at any time because they are you know they have this soft spot that people can say ah this lady cannot do anything <clears throat> and so they continue to try to sabotage what the men are doing imagine this guy trying to source information for the military and the police where these are the same people who have spied your people over and over again remember what happened at Aba? the dos this him and his group were the ones who sent those boys to go and protest in about wearing white on white uh, uniform what happened to them they buyed many of them over 50 to 100 of them were down so what did they do to the people who buy those people were they not police and 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 soldiers so the same people who buy your people you are providing information to buy more you can see how devilish and how evil these people are you are sourcing for informations but the thing i want to let us know is that <laughs> whatever information you have if it was real information he wouldn't come to the public to say it the time he will say it is when they have completed their action he will come out to say it. he knows nothing he knows nothing all these things he uh, is just to try and prick to get information out all these things he say ah he, he wants somebody to come out to say ah you don't even know where he is he's a lie he's not in social place then the person will not be giving to give him details ah this is where he is no nobody will give you that he is trying to walk the minds of people because if he knows the exact place he is going to tell the military this is where he is this is what he's doing this is exact place since he has called the exact name why didn't he give the details to the military that he's working with so that they can go and apprehend commander gentle it is because he knows absolutely nothing about where Gento is. So what he's trying to do is to, you know, force information out of people so that he can be able to send to the military that he is working with. Remember, we told you, he wants to gain a position, a political position in Nigeria. After he has led people, so many people, to their buyings. And today he wants to serve the same zoo government because he is working with the family but we told you this thing a long time ago and all of them in the dos are working with the politicians that is why you cannot stand with them if they are not working with the politicians why did they reinstate um the, uh, King Guru when he resigned the first time they said no he didn't do it in his right senses and he is back this second time he has resigned and he say he is resigning uh, he is no longer joking he is resigning seriously and so he has resigned but he is still instead of you to resign and focus on whatever duty or whatever line of progress that you want to do you are still fighting the same people what is your problem you said nobody should associate you with anything IPOB or anything Biafra struggle but you are still finding you know focus on your business since you do not want anything to be attached to you focus on your business focus on whatever you want to do in life but it is because he is now a full-time traitor that he is being used by the government to try to source information so that he will give to them and that is why I want to let every Piafra know that if I name
because if it is not working they will not be finding means to get to the pm they will not be finding means to get to the men on ground i told everyone and i told the men on ground that since they have come with money to the pm and the pm has rejected the next target is every man on ground they will come with money they will find ways to meet you and they will come with money restrain restrain every delilah because those are the species that they will use to come to you restrain every delilah they monitor every saboteur every step must be monitored there must be independent people who are men of the Biafra Defense Forces who will monitor activities without anybody even knowing. Monitor activities and report back to the highest command, which is the PM. Then he knows what to do with the information. But we are bringing this notice for our people to know how these people are sabotaging the effort of true Biafrans. But all to no avail their efforts will land on brick walls they will not gain any access as long as the biafran people are fighting a just cause nobody shall win them in this war we shall remain indefatigable indomitable and ever victorious although they don't know biafra first